good, gang? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be covering camera angles once again. And today we're gonna to be talking about the POV, which is short for point of view. These shots will allow us to experience the story through the eyes of the character, creating a sense of immersion and emotional connection. Let's dive straight into it. All right, guys, so first things first, you already know how we do this. Before we delve into the creative implications of the POV shot, let's understand the technical aspects. A POV shot is captured from the perspective of the character, mimicking what they will see and what they experience. That's at least 35 men. We've got to cut them down to half that before they enter the hotel to give us a fighting chance to get out of life. This technique puts the viewer into the shoes of the character, providing a unique and immersive storytelling tool. Now, let's explore the creative impact of the POV. With these shots being able to create an emotional connection with the audience, it would allow us to experience their thoughts, their fears, and their desires firsthand. They enhance the sense of realism and make us active participants in the story. In Lady Bird, director Greta Gerwig uses POV shots to bring us into the world of the protagonist allowing us to share her perspective and feel her desires and frustrations. Similarly, in The Hurt Locker, director Catherine Bigelow employs POV shots to place the audience in the dangerous and high stakes environment of a bomb disposal expert. Through the POV shots, we experience the tension, fear, and adrenaline of the character. In one intense scene, we see the bomb disposal expert examining a suspicious device from his perspective. The tight framing and shaking camera movement intensify the sense of danger and keep us on the edge of our seats. POV shots can also be used creatively to provide unique perspectives and insight. And I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about this. They can reveal hidden information, build suspense, or convey a character's distorted perception. In the classic film Psycho, director Alfred Hitchcock expertly uses POV shots to create suspense and heighten the audience anticipation. In the famous shower scene, we experience the terror of the attack from the perspective of the victim, intensifying the shock and the horror. Now that we understand the creative power of the POV, let's discuss some practical tips and how we can use them effectively. Pay attention to camera movements and angles, as they can enhance the sense of being inside the character's shoes. In action-packed sequences, handheld camera movements can simulate the character's movements and create a sense of urgency. On the other hand, smooth camera movements, such as on a dolly or a steady cam, can provide a more controlled and cinematic POV experience. Additionally, consider sound design and editing techniques to further immerse the viewer inside of the character's perspective. Sound effects such as breathing or ambient noise can enhance the realism on your POV shots. Objective editing techniques such as quick cuts or time manipulation can also be used to convey the character's state of mind or add intensity to the scene. All right guys, that wraps up today's video on POV shots in filmmaking. Remember, POV shots help us experience the story through the character's eyes creating a unique and immersive cinematic experience. Grab your camera and get out there and start shooting some POV. Once again, thank you for joining me today. If this video has helped you, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notification bell for more updates, tips, and tutorials. Keep creating and pushing the boundaries of your imagination. See you guys next time.